haven't worked all these years to free Britain from the paralysis of socialism. The Pan American 747 airliner crashed night in the Scottish It came down on the village of Lockerbie in Dumfrieshire. From Tiananmen Square, the sound of gunfire sounded like a battle. A huge volley of shots just as I left the front line caused panic. Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall. And yet you start to recoil heavy words are so lightly thrown. This is me, and that was me, the boy in the tree. Chai, the Indian stuff, I've been drinking it for years. So I guess you want to know a little bit about me. Do you know about illnesses? I'm not talking colds, headaches, earaches. I'm talking about the ones that really fuck your life up. Every week I get a delivery. Nothing too fancy, just the essentials, you know, bread, milk, toilet paper, and occasionally a magazine. I hardly ever read the articles, I just like the photos. You see, I, I get those holiday ones, you know, with, with the, uh, the beach huts and, and the boat trips. I have an irrational fear of public places. See how that might make my life a little less hunky. It's going to be fine. Seriously, don't worry. You will look amazing up there. Well, it's not that. I'm not nervous. I love you and I want everyone to know that. It's just... Well, that's the problem, isn't it? Your brother? Yeah. Have you still not heard from him? Why don't you just go and see him? You never know, look, maybe he didn't pick up the messages. Come on. I'm sure if he knew about this, he'd want to come. I'm sure you're right, but it's not that simple. It's been so long since we spoke to each other last, and he has completely closed himself off from me. You know... The one thing I was hoping was that this wedding would bring our family closer together. Will you come see him with me? I know the two of you haven't met and I would really love that to happen before the wedding. Of course. I want this wedding to be as perfect as you do. Come on. Let's get you home. It's been a long day. I'm guessing you didn't get the invite, but we did send one. I hope everything's okay. I just wish you... Anyway, please call me when you get the chance. Have you seen my dog? What? Well, I've lost him and, um... He's rather special and I do have to get him back. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. I've got to go. Fuck you! Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck! Don't fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! 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 Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! Fuck you! Can we come in? It's cold out here. Uh, sorry, sorry, come in, come in. Come. Can I uh, get you a drink or anything? I haven't long boiled the kettle, so. A tea would be lovely for me, Francis. I'm so sorry, <laughs> darling. This is Francis. I thought we missed it last. <laughs> it's a lovely place you've got here. You found it okay then? Yeah. Well, please, make yourselves at home. The, uh, the remote's just down there, so I'll be back in a sec. Thank you so much for coming with me. It means so much that you two get to meet before the wedding. 
you think I'll go through with it? Just ask him, honey. Mm. Maybe it's what he needs. I think you might be right. Let's just enjoy ourselves tonight, okay? okay. And you'll know when the time's right. So, <laughs> what do I owe this little honour? <laughs> oh, it's been a long time, sis. I must say, you look really well. Francis and I are getting married in a few weeks. And, well, we've been thinking. Listen, did you get any of my messages? It doesn't matter. We've been thinking and we'd really love you to be at the wedding. And that goes without saying, but how would you feel about giving me away? I'll walk you down the aisle. Yeah. S seriously, you, you want me to do that? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say, sis. I mean... Well, it's my big day and you're my big brother. There's no one else I want to do it. <sighs> Please just say you'll think about it. I can't even go out and do my own shopping, let alone walk. Oh, well, look, I, I am, I am feeling a bit better. Perhaps, perhaps this is what I need. Have you, um, have you set a date yet? Just shy of three, three weeks. weeks. <laughs> That's soon. <laughs> Life is a risk. If you don't risk, you don't live.
I think I'm gonna cry. 